speak to Chor Wynn, who is the founder and executive director of the Burma Human Rights Network, who joins us from London. Chor Wynn, thank you very much indeed for your time. What are the prospects for people returning home to Myanmar? Um, it is very, uh, the condition is very bleak for the people who are in Bangladesh and they cannot easily decide to, to return to Burma, as you see here. Uh, people are still uh, fleeing Burma. In northern Rakhine State, there are thousands of people uh, uh, facing starvation. And the government has intentionally cut the food uh, aid, humanitarian aid to those people. So this is a very uh, worrying sign. And this is five people, those who return uh, to, to, uh, to Burma today. It's, it's, uh, it is uh, another kind of uh, uh, fake uh, sta staging, another kind of uh, fake news that the uh, Burmese government has did uh, previously. That's very interesting you say, because uh, while we're, I've asked you about what the prospects are for people returning home, you're telling me people are still going the other way. You're saying that it's fake news yeah. from Myanmar that they're taking this family of five, but what about Bangladesh's yeah. responsibility to help the repatriation as well? Because Bangladesh says that it's a land-poor country, it can't accommodate 700,000 people in its own territory. You know, what Bangladesh is saying is absolutely true, and they are facing uh, humanitarian catastrophe, and they are handling this, and, and it is really praiseworthy for the Bangladesh side. But the problem here is the uh, international community need to step up uh, on pressure on Burma, and especially those uh, committed crime against humanity are going to, should be, you know, uh, need to face accountability. And especially on these uh, five people who are one of the, uh, from our ground uh, unit, uh, ground uh, uh, colleagues, those who send us information that these, the, the person who returned to uh, Burma is, he's a village, uh, head of the village administrator. So he, he's a, there are similar kind of people Burmese government has sent to refugee camps and persuade people to return. And in order to show the world that people are returning and the situation is better, actually not. So Burmese government and the military are very good at lying to the wall. And as a Burmese, we know very well about this. Yes, absolutely. In no way, please understand me, am I criticizing Bangladesh's government? The whole world is sympathetic to the situation that Bangladesh yes. is in. I'm just wondering about how do you think the Bangladesh government can come to trust the Myanmar government? Because clearly Bangladesh wants to help these poor people to return to their homes if they want to go, which is a totally separate issue. How does Bangladesh go about negotiating with the Myanmar government about these repatriations? I think Bangladesh government is supposed you should do a couple of things, not only one way. Uh, there are, because Bangladesh government has been receiving refugees from Burma since 1978. And there are generations now living in Burma, living, living in Bangladesh, those who are, you know, their first, second, third generation now. So I think Bangladesh government need to take a very stronger step against Burmese crime against humanity and uh, uh, urge to the world that to take a legal act to, uh, to take a stronger action against Burmese uh, government and the military, the perpetrators. And the ICC is uh, one of the very important thing that uh, Bangladesh need to seek. And there are some kind of so some way now. There is already some ways that, uh, you know, recently uh, one of the prosecutor has uh, opened up some, ch uh, some, some, uh, some way that. So I think Bangladesh government need to pursue, pursue this. And also on the, on the other hand, Bangladesh government sh should also uh, negotiate with the Burmese government to change their policy because these people not, must not return to the concentration camp. That's totally illegal. And these people have uh, right, full right to return to their own place because their houses, their villages has been bulldozed. So this is, this is a very clear uh, evidence that the Bur Burmese government doesn't want Bangla uh, Rohingya people and they are committed crime against humanity and genocide. This is very clear evidence now. Chor Wynn, we appreciate your time, sir. Thank you very much.